Hello everyone, welcome to the Connected platform. Today we are going to integrate two applications namely GitLab and ClickUp. So what exactly we are going to do in this Connect is whenever a new issue is created in GitLab, the same should be added as a task in ClickUp. We are going to start everything from the scratch. So let's just get started with the authorization of the applications first. Since GitLab, which is a developer's platform to manage and work on different projects, is added as a webhook application in Connexit, it does not need any kind of authorization. So we will directly go on to authorizing ClickUp first. Basically, it needs a few permissions for Connexit to access the data in ClickUp. Once we give these permissions, the authorization of ClickUp will be finished. So yes, as you can see, the authorization of ClickUp is finished. Now we will click on Create Connect, which will directly take us to the heart of Connexit, that is the Visual Flow Builder. Now we are just going to name the Connect. So we'll name it here. Issues reported from GitLab to ClickUp. Now we are going to drag and drop the trigger, which is GitLab in our case. Since it's a webhook application, we need to place the URL at the desired spot by following the instructions which have been given over here with it. So before that, I will just choose the event here as new issue created. So I'll just copy the URL. I'll go to the GitLab and then to the settings and finally to the webhook section. So here is where we need to place uh, the URL. So as you can see, I'll place it here. And we have to choose the uh, uh, supporting event that we want it to perform. So I will choose as an issue event. And I will just add the webhook here. Yes, as you can see, it has been uh, successfully added over here. Now we will go on to connect it and try to capture the response here. Now there's the most important part, which is to create an issue for it to capture the response. For that, we'll just go to GitLab again and we'll click on issues. And here we have to add a new issue for it to capture there. So we'll click here on new issues. And the title, I will give it as authorization issue here i'll give it as the description also api token is invalid because of which the authorization of abc application was not finished and that's it. Once we have given the description, we can also give it a due date. So I will keep it as 29th and I'll just create the issue here. As you can see, the issue has been successfully created here with the description that we had given. Now we will go and check. Yes, as you can see, it has uh, captured the response. Now we have to check the respective uh, places to map the fields. Before that, I will go on and place the action which will be click up in our case so we have to place it right here we have to choose a trigger which is going to be create a task and we have to choose a workspace here since i have created a workspace here in click up so i'll get the desired uh, workspace and the space also with the folders you have to create in the space, I have already created a few. And finally, we have to choose the list. Now we just have to map from here to here. That's how easy and simple it is. Now we'll just go to the project section here. And here is where we'll find the name of the project. I, we will just close this attribute and now we'll go to objects. To find the description, as you can see, it has come over here. I'll close this as well. Now we are just going to test and review ClickUp 
to see uh, how exactly the issue has been transferred as a task on ClickUp. So as you can see, the data has been successfully sent to ClickUp. Now we just have to go on and publish the connect. Since our connect is successfully published now, we will go on and check uh, ClickUp whether the task has been created in Connexit demo. And the issue reported was the field and the list here. So it takes a couple of minutes to get the output here. Yes, as you can see, uh, the task has been created over here as new lead, the project name, and finally the description of the issue that we had given. Now we will just uh, test it again by giving another issue. So we'll again go to the issue and we'll create a new one and see how exactly our workflow is working in that regard. So here, now we are going to click on the new issue and the new issue will just add something as browser issue despite clearing the cache the browser isn't working. So this is the description of the issue and we'll add the due date as 22nd. I will just click on create issue here to get the same issue here in GitLab so that it can be regarded as a task in ClickUp. So as you can see, the issue has been successfully added here. Now we are going to go and uh, check at the ClickUp whether we have got the output. So yes, as you can see, it has been added as a task over here. So this is uh, the description that I had given over here. So automating GitLab and ClickUp is that easy and it can be done without much efforts. Thank you everyone.